I am going to do my best to make this very quick. We're in vocabulary.com. If you go up here to your lists, or if you go from any screen on vocabulary.com, that's my home screen. Let me see if I can show you something a little bit different, a different way of looking at it. I'm typically looking for this ray bar here. I want to go to my lists. And then the next thing I'm looking for is my lists. It's in this gray bar here. And it's going to show me all my lists. This is all the lists I made because nobody's assigning me lists. However, if I assign you a list, I believe it comes up here on your all lists. If not, check over here under assigned um, because that will give you the ones that you have been assigned um, as well. So anyway, you are looking for the list. If you are ELA 8, you're looking for the ELA terms 1 through 15. April 6th through 10th. If you are in the enriched class, then you are looking for the vocab terms for 2E. It's all the terms from 1 to 75 or 2E down here, just the new terms 61 through 75. You guys have that choice. I'm going to demonstrate on the ELA terms because I think this will help, especially the ELA students who haven't been doing this as long. Okay, when I click on the list, I scroll down, and there are all the words from my list. In this particular case, I took the 15, first 15 off a list of 100 words that are arranged alphabetically, so you got lots of A's and B's and C's. Okay, so each one, you see the word, then you see the definition. So for this one, adversary is someone who offers opposition someone who's opposed to you, and a sentence that says the students are united by shared suffering and by a common adversary. That is great, but this is better. If you click on the word itself, now it takes you to a more advanced explanation here. It takes you to not only definition, but synonyms, antonyms, examples, and different types. Um, and then as you look over here on the right hand side, it'll also show you different examples of how this is, word is being used and continues to be used right now. This is not stuff that nobody has used since Shakespeare. People use the word adversary, adversaries all the time. So today is April 5th, it's Sunday right now, and I'm looking at Here's one from Slate Magazine, uh, April 2nd. Here's one from Fox News, April 3rd. From Los Angeles Times, April 3rd. From Fox News, April 4th. There's four examples of it just right here in the last three days that people have used publicly. So um, this gives you so this gives you different ways of looking um, at how the word is used, how it is actually used in context. That should um, you can check out the synonyms, but most importantly, probably here. An adversary is an enemy or someone who opposes someone else. In tennis, you stand directly across the net from your adversary. And then what I really like here is adversary is related to the word adverse. You might know the phrase adverse condition. Um, you know, we didn't score as many points during the soccer game because we were playing under adverse conditions. It had rained and the field was muddy, something like that. And you know adverse is bad. It's, it's working against you. And that's what an adversary does also. All of this stuff in here can be helpful. Why do you need this? Why do you want this? Because when you're doing your practice, you have to get somewhere in the neighborhood. I'm thinking somewhere between about 75 and 95 questions correct to finish. And that is the same number you need to get right, doesn't matter how many you get wrong, okay? So you could do this in 100 questions and get 75 or 85 or 95 out of 100 correct, or you could get 75 out of 400 correct, and that takes you four times as long. If you spend a few minutes checking out these words, getting yourself familiar with these words, then when you go to do the practice, then it gets a little bit easier because you're familiar with the words and you're not just guessing. Learn it a little bit beforehand before you get into the practice, and I think that will save you lots of time.